<laughs> Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith again, and we're finally beginning to bring you the first round of numbers from our A12 testing. So we did pick up our A12 9800 from overseas, and we finally got it, and now we're finally getting a chance to go through all of the numbers. So what we're going to do is a series of videos showing the game as we're going through them at 1080p low settings, and we're going to show you a side-by-side -side with the A10 7890K and the A12 9800 to see how they actually perform. Once we've got all these together, we're going to compile a final video where we go through and talk about all the caveats and the pros and the cons of the APU as well as a full write-up. So stay tuned for that if you want to see that at the very end. So what I want to do real quick is show you what we have here. We've got on the left, we've got an A10 7890K 95 watt APU. That's with a stock 4.1 base with 4.3 gigahertz turbo. R7 graphics with 512 stream processors at 866 megahertz with 16 gigabytes of DDR3-2133 with 2 gigabytes allocated to the iGPU on an ASUS Crossblade Ranger motherboard. And in the right, we will have the A12 9800 65-watt CPU. That's at its stock 3.8 gigahertz with a 4.2 gigahertz turbo. Utilizing the R7 graphics with 512 stream processors at 1,108 megahertz, using 16 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 with 2 gigabytes allocated to the iGPU on the ASUS Prime B350M-A motherboard. Oh, Keith, why didn't you overclock everything? I wanted to see how these things performed stock for stock. We'll talk about overclocking numbers later once we get that nailed down with the A12 because it is not an unlocked CPU or an APU rather. So it's a locked part. But uh, with that out of the way, this is Dirt Rally at 1080p low settings. As we get into this, I want you to pay close attention to the GPU utilization. While the A12 is much faster, you're gonna see that its utilization is rarely at the 100 point hundred percent point that the A10 is. This is likely due to driver implementation because we are having to use motherboard drivers uh, rather than drivers that come from AMD. So there's a lot of optimization left on the table for this particular uh, APU even though they are of similar architecture. If it's not designed to take full advantage of it in the drivers, it likely won't. And that could be why we're seeing a lower full utilization here. This is just something to keep in mind as we go forward in these testing. Thank you. 